Hello guys, welcome along to another video by uh, on the Learn for Free channel. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the Dark Lord speaking. Sorry it's been a while since I did a, a video for you guys, but uh, I haven't been very well to be honest with you, and I'm still sort of in the recovery stage. Hopefully things will get better for Christmas. Okay, with that out the way, I wanted to show you um, this bit of freeware that I found from Mad Doc Man. Um, it's a desktop whiteboard. Now, there's lots and lots of desktop whiteboards about, as I'm sure you're aware. And some have more features than others. This one's got some features on that uh, I haven't seen on any other whiteboard. So I wanted to briefly run through with you what this uh, bit of software could do. Um, now, first of all, along the top here, we've got uh, nine boards as you can see numbered one to nine they're nine different white boards okay and why do we have nine well i'll go into that in a little a little while and explain why we've got nine and what use there could be <coughs> excuse me okay down the left hand side we've got uh, various colors as you can see uh, there's a white there as well and you can access them by pressing the f keys f1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 the erasers f8 you can alter the thickness of the lines or the colors that are preset etc exactly the same as in any other whiteboard we've got a selection point there which we can select it makes a selection on the screen and we can import uh, pictures into there and or, you know draw on pictures whatever put arrows on whatever you need to do this is the arrow keys for up and down through the menu which we'll go into a little bit more detail in a few minutes <coughs> And this on the bottom here, which looks like a bit of a meat cleaver, gives us access to the menu system. Okay, so that's basically all you've got on there. Oh, we've got a notebook, uh, sorry, note box here where you can type notes in about your pictures or whatever you want in there. Okay, right. Well, I'll just briefly um, give you a, a, a demonstration on that. Okay, so there's your, uh, we can just change the color, we can click on that, or we can actually clicked on two or whatever you want to do now you'll notice that i've got white there set wider um and i'm, I'm sure that you don't want to just watch me playing on a, on a whiteboard so i'm going to show you some of the functions in there i've just clicked there on the eraser or you can click f8 whichever you want and you can just erase the details on the screen as so which the eraser can be altered the size can be altered to whichever size suits a particular project that you're doing <coughs> excuse me okay now then this here explains what board we're on we're on a standard whiteboard we're on pen one we're on size 10 so i want to alter size 10 now so we'll go to um, configure palettes as you can see pen one is set to size 10 i'll make that down to size 4 um, if you want to change the colour, you simply right click on the square and you will be presented with uh, a menu as such where you can adjust the colour, the preset colour of that, and then you can click OK. <coughs> OK, so what I'm going to do now is save that palette because I've actually um, altered the pen size on the black pen, so I'll save the palette. So that's your configuring of your palettes. That's on the standard whiteboard. There's other whiteboards that we can access. You'll see those in the project settings in a moment. Okay, um, project settings. We'll start with general first rather than the playback settings. We've got various layouts that you can choose on here, which is a, a, a bit of an unusual one for a whiteboard. It's, it's quite good. We've got the advanced whiteboard, the simple whiteboard, obviously the default one that we saw. We've got a blackboard on there as well, which will convert your whiteboard into a blackboard, similar to what you used at school. You've got a grey board, a monochrome freak, or animation guru. This one's particularly useful if you want to do animations. Animations, I say, okay, we'll come to that very, very soon. But for the moment, I'm going to leave that on the, win on the whiteboard default, okay? Um, we can put a timer on there. We can start the timer, we can display the numeric information, which is basically the position of your cursor, which is useful if you're drawing to sort of scale or something like that. Um, we've got the levels of uh, how many levels you can undo. We can adjust the menu opacity so we can see through the menu if you wish. Full screen mode, etc, etc. Tool settings. 
Again, we've got the toolbox, which is what you saw on the main screen. We show it, we're aligning it left. We can colorize it from the background. We can set all the fill behaviors here and what have you for the, for the tools. And we can alter or show or hide the, the notebook the notebox sorry i keep saying notebook it's notebox playback settings this is for animation <clears throat> as you will notice i've got this set to loop and i've got this um set for frame selection one to six i'm going to alter that now to one to five okay and then i'm going to go back to our drawing board on number six and briefly show you something that I think we'll be you'll be interested in okay what I've done on board one if I select board one <coughs> excuse me you'll have to excuse my drawing and it's not to scale it's just a bit of a rough drawing okay just to show you the basics of how it works etc we've got an E on board two we've added an equals on board three we've added an M and I'm sure you're gonna guess what's coming next on board four we've got a c and on the board five we've got e so the full thing reads on board five we've got e equals mc squared okay uh, board six is back to my blank board which i haven't got anything on there yet which we can just draw a little squiggle or whatever we want to do on there okay so what we want to do now is play back one to five now what you do anywhere on the board here is right click and a menu comes up now, if you scroll down this menu, you've got an awful, awful lot of choices on here. Uh, I've only had this program myself for about a day, so I haven't had a chance to really look at everything and go through everything. Plus, the video I'm making for you would take about an hour for me if I was to go through absolutely everything you could do on this program. We go down to Animation Progr uh, Playback, sorry, <clears throat> and we click on Start. Or alternatively, you can press F12 on your keyboard, and that should start the actual... Um, playback as well okay so what should happen now is you can see that okay can you see the playback there you can adjust the speed the time that will loop until I stop it looping we could just play it once if we wanted to we could make it go in reverse if we wanted to uh, there's all sorts of things we can do from that animation playback so in order to stop that all I'll do is right click go back down to animation playback and you'll see stop f12 or alternatively you could you could just press f12 and that that would actually stop it so to go back into the animation and see what's going on here um we click on that we're on the playback settings as you can see we're in a loop um we've there's reverse we, if we click reverse it would go back in reverse it can return to the first board and we've selected frames one to five that's boards one to five because board six is the one I've just been playing with to show you. The frame interval is 200 milliseconds. We can adjust that to go faster or slower, depending on what you want, okay? So you've got quite a lot of tools, you've got quite a lot of settings on here that you can do. I, want, I really wanted to show you that because in addition to the um, <coughs> normal whiteboard facility, it's uh, a pretty good feature that I've not seen on anything else basically now for the application layout I've set blackboard here this is under general settings on project settings and then I've got to click set okay switching board mode will change the board, the board background color and clear all the boards so we're going to clear everything we've got on there on all the boards okay so we've got to accept that so I click OK and then I'll click on board one which now should be blank and we should be on a blackboard setting as you would normally see um, when it decides to work oh that's it do we have it that's it okay I just missed it I must have missed it so obviously now we set for white color and we can draw in white or whatever color you want on there basically obviously you don't want to be drawing in black <coughs> excuse me so as you can see if any time you want the main menu you can just right click on the main board and that menu will come up and give you lots and lots and lots of features okay so um, as I said this comes from Mad Doc Man I will put the link in the description to it I haven't had time to go through everything myself so I would hope that you would <coughs> excuse me play with it yourselves and find out a little bit more 
And there are a couple of features I'd like to have seen on there that aren't actually on there. And that is the ability to type text onto the board. You can't do that. You can only type into the notes. Um, the ability for um, shapes. It only does circles. No other shape. Um, which are on board 10, I believe. Um, and there is no actual help menu. Uh, you know, we can click on help. There's no actual help menu. Other than that, um, if you can manage without those three things then this is a really really nice piece of kit nice bit of freeware for you to play with as I say it doesn't cover everything that other whiteboards do on the other hand it covers certain things such as your animation that other whiteboards don't cover so it's always wise to have more than one in your toolbox I think and uh, I think this is well worth well worth having hope you've enjoyed this video I uh, hope you enjoy the program if you decide to download it and use it. And um, we've just had a revamp on the site, so if you want to pop along and see us on the site, <coughs> please do so. Um, you're more than welcome. I'll put the link to the site in the description. Uh, we'd love to see you on there, especially over the Christmas period, and play a few games and have a go at some of the Christmas uh, puzzles and things that we're going to be putting up. So uh, I think that's about it for now, guys. Please rate and favourite the video. And... Uh, if you like it, tell all your friends about it. Thanks a lot for now. See you later. Bye.